Hello everyone. Now we are going to make the program of dynamic array. Here we are creating the array using dynamic memory allocation. So first of all, we are taking the void main. Main is the driving function. And here we are having is the curly bracket. That means this is the body of main. Inside the body of main, we are using the printf. Printf is a function that is printing on the screen. So here we are giving the message that enter number of elements. By this, we are going to ask from the user that please enter number of elements you want. Now here, this printf function is the part of stdio.h header file. So on the top, we are using the hash include. That means we are including the header file that is stdio.h. That means standard input output header file. This is for the printf and scanf functions. Now afterward, we are going to take the variable. So here we are taking one variable int n. Inside this variable, we are going to store the number of elements. So here we are having is the int. Int is a data type. n. n is the variable. That means inside the memory, we are going to have a block of memory. Let us suppose that the address of this memory is 301. So 301 is the address and the name of this variable is n. Afterward, we are using the scanf statement. We know that scanf is used for taking the input from the user. So here we are having is the n. n is of integer type. So here we are using percentage %d that is for the integer value. Comma at the address of n. So here number of elements we are going to store at the address of n. When we are using the printf statement, so it will give a message on the user screen that enter number of elements. Let us suppose that user has given the number of elements that is 5. Now afterwards scanf means taking that input, means scanning that input, percentage %d that is for the integer value. Now this integer value will be stored at the address of n. So here 5 is the integer value that will be stored at the address of n. So here inside the n we are having is the 5. So here in the variable we are having the value that is 5. That means these are the 5 number of elements and that we are asking from the user on runtime. That means it is the dynamic memory allocation we are going to use. For the dynamic memory allocation we are having the function that is malloc. Now we are taking a pointer. So we are first of all saying int star a star a signify a is the pointer that is going to store the address of the integer variable now afterward we are using equal to so here we are using the malloc function format the malloc function format says that start with the bracket now int star so here int star signify what is the type of memory you are taking then malloc malloc and calloc are used for the dynamic memory allocation in the bracket, we are going to pass what is the length. So here we know that n, n is the number of elements. So n is the length multiply by size of. So here size of each integer. So here we are using size of int. So by this we are taking the malloc function. Here we can see that it is integer and size of integer. We know that the size of integer is 2 byte. It depends upon the compiler. So many compiler have 4 byte, but we are assuming the 2 byte. And here we are having is the n. We know that n is the length. So here 5. 5 is the number of element. So here 5 into 2. That means here we are having is the 5 blocks each of 2 byte. So here we are having is the malloc function and the type is integer. So by using this line, we are going to have the five blocks each of two byte. So in the memory, we are having the five block. Let us suppose that the first block address is 401. We know that here we are using the two byte of memory. So that means the next block will be having the 403 because 401 plus two byte will be 403, then 405 and afterward 407 and then afterward 409. So this is how we are having is the 2 2 byte of the memory and total 5 blocks are there. And here the size of complete memory is 5 into 2 that means 
10 byte of memory is reserved. And here we are using the star A. We know that this is the pointer. So here we are having is the pointer that is A and this is pointing to the first address that is first block address that is 401. We are using the malloc function here. This malloc function is the part of stdlib. So here we are using hash include that means include the header file stdlib. This is standard library dot h. This is the header file for malloc function. Now we are having the dynamic array. In this array, we will take the input as the normal array. So we are first of all asking from the user for the input. So we are giving a message that means printf printing on the screen. Now here I am taking the slash in for the new line that enter elements. For entering the elements, we are taking a for loop here. So first of all, we are taking the for loop. We know that to run a for loop, we need one variable. So here with the integer, we are taking one more variable that is i. Now here we are taking i is equal to zero, then i less than n, then i plus plus. So here the i will start from zero and going till n and the i will be incremented. So inside the for loop, we are going to ask the inputs. So here we are using the scanf. Scanf function is used for taking the input from the user. Now here, as we know that integer is the type so here percentage d that is for the integer comma at the address of now here pointer variable a this will be acting like a array so here ai now we are going to take this ai and inside that we are going to take the input when we have declared one variable that is i so inside the memory one block is reserved let us suppose that that address is 501 this is the address. Now here the name of variable is i. Now afterward we are having the printf that means the printing on the screen enter elements. So here the message for the user that please enter the elements. Now we know that five elements are there. So here for loop will run the value of i will be zero. So here the value of i will start from zero. Afterward it will check the condition that is i less than n. We know that zero is perfectly less than five. So afterward, it will be coming inside and here scanf means asking from the user. So let us suppose that user has given some number. We are assuming that number is seven. So let us suppose that that seven number is taken through the percentage D. This is the integer value and this value will be stored at the address of a i. We know that a is the pointer variable and i right now is zero. So we can see that these addresses are acting like the index values. So here 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. These are the index values. The reason is that array is the contiguous memory allocation. So even we are using the dynamic array. So here these are the continuous memory. So right now AI that means A0 is signified. So A0 that means we are talking about the first block and here the value 7 will be stored. Then afterward i will be incremented and the value of i will be 1. It will check the condition that less than 5 and again afterward it will take the scanf means taking the input and storing at the address of ai. So let us suppose that the next number we are having is the 5. So here at the address of a1 we are having is the 5. The value of i will increment that is 2. Afterward again at a2 we are having the next number let's say 7 now afterward the value of i will increment that will 3 at the address of a3 let us suppose that the next value we are having is the 19 then the value of i will be 4 and here at the address of a4 we are having a let's say number that is 20 then the value of i will increment that is 5 so here the condition will false we know that i should be less than 5. So here we can see that 5 less than 5 that is not true in that case it will come out. That means this for loop part is over and we are having successfully placed all the elements inside the array. Now is the time to display these elements. Similarly we are having is the for loop. So here for i is equal to 0 and i less than size that is n then i plus plus. 
now is the time that we are going to print on the screen so here we are using the printf now here we are having is the printf percentage d percentage d that means because we are going to print the integer values here we are giving one space so that these elements should be having one space comma here we are using the ai again a is a pointer i is the index so here we are having is the ai here we can see that the pointer a it acting like a array so we can say that a simple pointer is a representation of a array now again we are having is the for loop so inside the for loop the i will start from zero so we can see that this is zero again and here i less than n we can see that this zero is less than five perfect so here it will come inside and printing on the screen percentage d it will take the value from a i percentage is for the integer value a is the array that is a pointer basically which is acting like an array i is the index position so right now the value of i is 0 so a 0 that means 7 so on the screen we are having printed that will be 7 then afterward i will be incremented the value of i will be 1 checking the condition 1 less than 5 perfect so again we are going to print that is percentage d a i so here a 1 that means 5 will be printed so on the screen we are having is 5 and the value of i will be 2 then a 2 so this is 7 again 7 will be printed the value of i will be 3 then a 3 we know that a 3 is 19 so 19 will be printed then afterward the value of i will be 4 so here a 4 that means 20 will be printed so 20 will be on the screen the i will increment that is 5 so here condition we can see that i less than n that means 5 less than 5 condition will be false and here the for loop will come out so in this program we have taken a pointer and this is using the dynamic memory allocation using the malloc function and here first of all we have given the number of elements then afterward we have taken the memory that's why this is the dynamic memory allocation if the user is giving the size as 5 then 5 blocks are reserved now we are going to run this program so here we are having is the output screen is saying enter number of elements so here using the printf enter number of elements now we are giving the elements let's say 5 so here the value of n will be 5 it will dynamically allocate the memory so here 5 blocks will be reserved let us suppose that i am giving the elements here the first element is 7 then 5 then 7 then 19 then 20 so these are the elements which we have mentioned so using the for loop it is taking all the five elements now if i press enter here we can see that again a for loop is applied so here using the printf it is showing us 7 5 7 19 and 20 so these are the elements which we have entered so here we have learned the program of dynamic array. Here we have declared the array using the dynamic memory allocation using the malloc function.